Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today we're going over how to check a refrigerant charge on a 410i unit. This particular unit right here has a call for 10 degrees of subcord. Okay, it's found at the rating plate. The rating plate, if you can see that right up there, the rating plate's right up here. Okay, it will actually state the TXV subcooling rating right there. All right. Presently, we have 60, we'll call that 66 degrees on the liquid line. Okay, if you can see this, I have it on the liquid line. All right, the sun is not directly beating down on it, uh, though it looks kind of looks like that in the video, uh, but it is not. All right, this right here, you have 200 and uh, about 210 PSIG right there. You take that over and bring it to your saturated temperature for the pink or rose color. Okay, because we're dealing with four tonight, that's pink or rose right there. You're looking at about 73 degrees saturated. All right, so 73 degrees saturated state minus 66, and you're left with six degrees of subcord. All right, if this unit is calling for 10 degrees, if this unit right here is calling for 10 degrees and you have six, that means that you might want to start adding a little bit of refrigerant charge. Now, that may have happened just due to people connecting and disconnecting refrigerant gauges, all right? But uh, but that's that. Now, if you do charge refrigerant into this system, you want to use a liquid vaporizer, all right? This one happens to be from Imperial. It's a quick charge. And what that's doing is when you charge refrigerant into a system like this, uh, you're charging in liquid form. The bottle has to be upside down. You're charging into the surface hose and into the vapor line. This vaporizer makes sure that your compressor is safe and you're charging vapor. It goes from liquid to vapor, all right, and then it goes into your compressor over here, which is your vapor line, all right? So once again, just to go over this again, subcooling, you check on the high side, you check the temperature on the high side, you minus the saturated temperature on the inner ring, okay? And if in this case it's four to nine, so it's the pink ring, not the green ring, the pink ring minus at 73 degrees uh, with uh, 66 degrees as your actual temp, and you're going to end up with 6 degrees of subcool. All right? It's okay to have anywhere from 3 degrees plus or minus what it's calling for. So if it's calling for 10 degrees of subcooling, 7 degrees to 13 degrees will be good. I'll tell you, in my case, I usually like to get it at about 11 or so. If it's calling for 10, I'll get it at 11. If it's calling for 13, I'll try to get it to 14. If it's too low, if it's too small of an amount of subcoin, you need to add refrigerant to the system. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. See you next time at AC Service Tech.